Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a typewriter effect in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever wanted to do something just a little bit different with your text in Doodly? Well, the first thing you can do is turn off the hand. So I'm going to show you that first, and then in a few minutes, we'll go over how to make a typewriter effect. So let's just take a quick look at this video. So here's the hand doing it, and that looks fine. Now here it is coming up in just a moment without the hand. And that's close. And then finally, the typewriter effect. So how do we do all of this? First of all, let's learn how to turn the hand on and off, which you may already know. If you go down to settings, here's your hand style. You can go down here and turn it off right here. No hand. Okay. Or you can turn it to a different hand. You can also do it on a scene by scene basis. So maybe you don't want the hand on the first one and then you do want the hand on the second one. So go to the one that you're working with and go to scene settings and instead of having use board and hand style from video settings you can turn that off and then now you can do it just for that scene okay now the typewriter effect let's go look at this one real quick obviously i did put some sound effects to help it out a little but I also had it type on one letter at a time. Okay, so there's a lot of copy and pasting here to get it this way. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. With this particular font, there are kind of little holes in it. So it kind of looks a little funky. I would recommend using a different font style so that you don't have it super dark by the end. So if you notice, this scene here has, you know, 20 layers of text on top of each other. Whereas this one just has the one. So can you see the difference? So with that in mind, let's create an example here. We're going to use a different font style and we're going to do it on a computer instead of a typewriter. So I did bring this image in. I imported it myself, a little retro computer. And then for the font, I used this one. Rajhani Bold, because I think that looks kind of like an old style computer font. So how do we do it? The first thing we want to do is enter our text exactly how we want it to be done at the very end. I am using white letters here and they're hard to see. So for the sake of helping you guys see it, I'm going to change the color. And wasn't green a color back in the day? On computers I think it was so let's see how that looks yeah that's gonna be cool so you'll be able to see it and it'll work fine for our example so make sure you have the font style you like the font size you like and the colors that you like and once you're happy with that then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna turn the duration to zero because we don't want it drawing on we want it just to appear and then we're gonna give it a slight delay so we're going to do, I'd say 0.2, that's what I did on this one over here. Over here, see 0.2 and 0. That way, each letter comes on one after the other. If they had a zero delay, they just would all show up all at once and you wouldn't have the effect. Once you're happy with that, then we're going to copy and paste it a bunch of times. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times. And you can do it one at a time or you can do them all at once. I think it's probably a little easier. Probably want to do it all at once. All right, so. Okay, so I should have enough text here. And you'll see if we preview it. Nothing's really happening because they're all coming on one after another. But 
we, we have to take word, letters away, okay? So that's what we're gonna do next. So you've, you've got your first one. I'm just gonna go ahead and click in here and you're probably gonna be starting with the bottom one because it's hard to select them specifically. So we can just go ahead and start with just our yellow cursor. And then we're gonna move it into position so it's first. Now you notice it's not in the proper space. Don't worry about that just yet, okay? So let's click another one. We're just gonna keep deleting sequentially here. So now we just wanna go to the H. And again, I like to move it into place. Let's click another one. I notice that in one of the updates, they have made it much easier to move your items around in the layers. So that is awesome. I know it's starting to look a little jumbled. Again, don't worry about that. Okay, and then that's it. So, if we preview this, you're gonna see the jumbled mess, okay? So, I want you to see that because we're gonna fix it. So how do we fix it? So use your Command or Control button and A to select everything. While still holding the Command or Control button, deselect the other items, okay? So now we have just our text selected. So hover over that selected item, right click it, click align, align left. Everything lines up to that little cursor there. So now if we preview it, we will have our text. That's pretty much it. If you want to add some sound effects, you can certainly do that like I did here. Go to your Sounds tab, click Categories, Sound Effects. And, and I did type in Typewriter and I got this sound. So that's the sound I used at the very end. To get that typing sound, they didn't really have a typewriter sound so I had to listen until I found something that would work and what actually worked was the stapler so that's what I used so I'll use that again here so let's go to show preview and let's position our cursor where the typing begins which is right here and then you just drag and drop and then position it, and that should be good. And then you just do that over and over. Oops. It's kind of hard to get it positioned. Let's do it over, whoops. Let's see how that's looking. So we need a few more and what I did is I put them on a second row in, so we'd have them kind of in between here because there is a little bit of gap between them so I thought that would be a good way to tighten that gap. If you don't have an extra track just go over here to the three dots and choose add track. And that's it! You can now export and save your video with the added typewriter effect. Remember, typography is important in creating the overall feel of your video, and the typewriter effect can help bring your words to life. By following these easy steps, you'll be able to quickly and easily create a typewriter effect in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching!